Hey everyone, today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about cars or controlled articular rotations and how these exercises can help you improve your mobility and move better, feel better, um, and have better quality of life going forward, okay? Cars is one of our favorite exercises here at Decatur Performance and Fitness that we use to improve your mobility. Okay, we use them in all aspects, areas of the gym with all of our members, okay, from old to young, all right? Uh, you're gonna also see a few exercises and get a few videos and see, uh, see me walk you through how to actually do each car variation and exercise, but for now, I'm just gonna talk a little bit about why we do the cars, what they are, and how they can improve your mobility. All right, first off, just a little bit of a definition between flexibility and mobility. All right, there's a lot of different terms and use of these, so just to make sure we're on the same page when it comes to how we speak in the gym here. Um, here is my definition, or not my definition, but what I use at the gym, okay? So flexibility would be your passive range of motion, okay? A range of motion that your joint can get to with an external force or something else putting that joint into the stretch, all right? Mobility would be your active range of motion, okay? Or, you know, a, a range of motion that you can control, you can get to without any outside help. Okay, a good and easy example would be me pulling my knee up to my chest. Active range of motion would be how far I could pull my knee up towards my chest without anything else besides my leg actively doing it. Passive range of motion would be me using my arms and assisting and seeing how far up I could get my leg. All right, in mobility, the gap between your passive range of motion and active range of motion, if it is too big, you are at risk for injury and you're gonna see your mobility decrease very quickly if there is a gap, okay? So that's a little bit about the definitions, all right? So why we do the CARS exercises. Okay, so CARS, once again, are controlled articular rotations, or a little bit more simply put, they're basically very slow, active movements through the outer, through the outer range of motions of your joints. A big joint circle with strength and control and intent. All right, and a few things that these exercises do for your body is they increase your joint health and your longevity of your joint. By moving your joint through a full range of motion every single day or as often as you can, you are getting fresh fluid, blood, you know, oxygen, good joint synovial fluid, moving through that joint to lubricate it, have it feeling good, flush out bad things, um, and the only way to do that in some of, these, some of these joints that don't move well or that are very tight spaces, the only way to do that and to get that stuff through them is to move them through their full range of motion, okay? So you're improving your joint health and your longevity, and you're also maintaining and improving your mobility itself. You are actually getting more mobile by doing these cars. I'll explain that a little bit more later, okay? You're also getting body awareness and control, okay? You're sending good signals to your brain by moving your joint at its deepest part through its biggest ranges of motion. So you are not only um, sending, you, sending your brain signals, but that's helping you become more aware of your body in space, no matter where it is. And that can pay off in many different ways, just in strength and life and um, in longevity and going forward, just having better awareness and control of your body at all times, okay? It's also an assessment for a coach or your own self. As you do the cars, it will tell you how your joint is feeling. So day by day, month by month, as you do your cars, you can see how you're feeling, how you're feeling that given day, what your range of motion is like, and it can also give another coach an idea of how well you move just by seeing what your joint looks like. How well can you move each joint? Okay, kind of like a football team. Okay, the better each individual position is, the stronger each individual position is, the stronger the overall team will be. If there's a weak link, okay, then that is gonna make the overall team okay, suffer and come down. And that's the same thing in joint health. You need all of your joints to move well, okay, to have your body be the, at the most optimal when it comes to movement and mobility and health. All right, to go with that, you have more options when moving. So the better your joints move, the stronger each link is or each position is, the more options you will have to move, uh, the, be the safer you will be. Okay, if you can only do one thing when you raise your arm, when you go into a squat, if your body only knows one way how to do it, okay, that can be dangerous when you're forced into a position that maybe your body doesn't like. So you have more and more options, all right? So how, how cars can help improve your mobility itself, okay? Or at least help maintain it. 
So why cars? So this little graphic just to kind of helps demonstrate what happens now and later if you do your cars or if you don't do your cars. So the black space, okay, is your, and now on this left side is your available joint space, all right? So how much in your joint, what is the possible range of motion that that joint has, all right? If you do not do cars, okay, your possible range of motion in that joint becomes limited, becomes small, is not what the actual full workspace is or joint space is. If you do your cars every day, okay, you're hitting that outer range of motion, you're exploring it, okay, then later you're gonna maintain and you're gonna have that range of motion and that mobility later in life, let's say five, 10, 20 years down the road. So if you explore the range of motion you have every day, you're gonna maintain it and keep it later on. Think of it as you've heard the saying, if you don't, if you don't use it, you lose it, okay? That applies to joint health and mobility big time, all right? So when it comes to if you don't do your cars every day, if you don't move your joints through their full range of motion every day, okay, if that's as far as you move it every day by sitting all day, by not being active, by not doing the right movements, then that's all you're gonna end up having later on. All right, is that possible workspace? And that's gonna mean poor movement, that's gonna mean less and less flexibility and mobility as you go forward in life. Okay, so we need to move our joints through their full range of motion so we can maintain it. Okay? So I hope that helped explain a little bit of why we do cars or controlled articular rotations and what those can do for your mobility and your joint health, okay? Make sure you watch the videos and you check out how to do each car variation. If you have any questions, shoot us a message or grab myself in the gym, all right? Have a good day and thanks for watching.